I-10 is where I'm headed up to now. Um, I just don't like these two-way roads. It's, I don't know. Because uh, there's always people that want to pass you because if you go the speed limit, you're going too slow, basically. And um, we don't go over the speed limit. So, um, anyhow, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty good experience as far as the live load. Usually live loads take us like three or four hours and it's a real waste. This one took, um, uh, we got there, our, our appointment was at three o'clock. We got there at 2.30. We were at the dock at three and I was out by four. So an hour for a load is really good. Um, and um, it is, uh, we were fully loaded. So usually fully loaded, we're looking at about um, like total everything is like 80,000 pounds is the max. Um, I'm loaded all the way to the door and it's only uh, 10,500 pounds um, because it's all like cheese balls. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree load and I am hauling their, you know, their gallon thing of the little cheese balls. Uh, that's what it is. So I'm, I'm hauling air. Uh, this is fine. It's kind of cool. Um, but I just feel like I'm running empty because normally when you're driving, you can kind of feel that weight when you're taking off and, and as you're maneuvering, you can kind of feel the weight in the back and this doesn't feel like I have weight. So it's kind of cool. But anyhow, um, so really I'm just going to jump on real quick and say hello and give the update. Uh, we are on the way to Virginia. Uh, don't have another load lined up yet. Um, I'm sure that they will probably send us one in the next 10 hours or so. Usually they send one um, shortly after we pick up this load. Um, up to probably like five hours before we deliver. Just to kind of start stacking this and get this set up. Uh, but I, uh, I put in about four extra hours uh, for us because we have time on this load. It's not due until the 30th at midnight. Um, but it's only a 16 hour load. Um, but because the load was broke up, so we got there three hours early. So we ended up hanging out at a truck stop for three hours, um, which is good because we went to the restaurant that was the truck stop. It was really good, but it was super slow. Um, it was like this little tiny town, Perry, Florida, and everybody decided at noon to come to this little place and they had four people working and the place was packed and um, it took us half hour before somebody acknowledged us to uh, get our drinks and our food order um, but the food was really good and the lady was super sweet she was super nice I saw they were really busy and I was not going to give them grief uh, I tipped her well um, because you know she worked hard she was hustling um, for four of them, two of them were working the floor, two of them were cooking. And it was kind of, it reminded me of a Waffle House, the way that the line is right there. Um, so everything's right there. You walk in, there's a counter you can sit at, then there's booths, uh, and everything's happening right there in front of the counter. So there was two, two gals that were cooking. That's not, I mean, their menu was pretty extensive. It was like maybe four or five pages. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, anyways, so um, because we were there, Alex was awake. Uh, normally he'd have been asleep. And then when we got to the location, um, it was a not a um, the dock that they had was not a uh, permanent dock. It was kind of like a, I don't know. It was something I've never seen. It's something like what you would use to like load cars into. Um, to a trailer or something uh, so anyhow it was a little bit difficult to back into so Alex was watching my back in for me when I backed in um, so he was awake quite a bit today when he should have been sleeping so I wanted to make sure that I built in extra hours for him because I can only drive another five hours before my 14 hour clock is up even though I've only driven um, I still have six and a half hours to drive, but my 14 hour clock only allows me to work for another five hours. Um, so
so, and then at that point, Alex should be driving, but because he just um, went back to sleep, I need to give him some extra time to make sure that he is rested and uh, he's ready to go. So, um, also, I would like to try to find a place. It's, it's time for a shower. It's been a couple days. Um, and uh, it's time to get a shower. And here comes an idiot crossing on a double solid line. Solid. Great job, Florida. Uh, anyways, yeah, lovely, lovely. Um, they couldn't have waited just a little bit longer because now it's a passing zone. But, you know, what ifs? What ifs? Um, anyways, so yeah, I just want to make sure that he's rested and ready to go uh, because we don't drive uh, drowsy. We don't drive if we don't feel that we can be safe on the road, uh, not cause an accident, harm ourselves or others. Um, it's one really good thing about this company is, you know, safety first. Um, the motto right along the building is uh, safety by choice, not by chance. So we really, um, we really play into that uh, and make sure that we're 100%. Um, anyways, so uh, I say we're probably going to be delivering this by noon tomorrow. Um, and that'll give us a little bit of time if, uh, if Alex needs a little more sleep. Also allow us to uh, stop and get a shower at uh, a truck stop. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys uh, an update. Um, we need to stop at a Walmart sometime soon because I want to get some more recipes and more stuff to put in the Instapot. Um, that stew is really good. Um, I would like to make some chili, uh, which is pretty easy to make. Um, get some, uh, I would use it with uh, chicken though instead of uh, ground beef. Uh, that way I can just buy chicken breasts and throw it in the chili and then before we eat it just like pull the, the breasts apart. Um, that way it cooks in the chili and then just pull it apart. Um, that sounds like it might be really good. Um, Derek, you had a really good, if you ever watch this, I don't know if you do, but he had a really good um, white bean chili recipe with chicken that uh, he ate right after the gastric bypass when he was able to start eating the solids. That was a really good, um, good chili, so I might try to look up something like that. Um, it'll be pretty easy to throw into the Instapot. Uh, the one thing I find about the Instapot is um, because I use the Crock-Pot liners, um, I have to use the Instapot as a slow cooker because it can't lock for pressure to use pressure cooker if I'm using a liner. Uh, if anybody has an idea how to make it work with a liner, uh, leave me a comment so I can uh, get that down. Otherwise, it's fine. We can slow cook it. Um, it's not like we're going anywhere, right? Um, didn't cook four or five hours uh, before we uh, before we eat it. That's not a problem, especially with the lid. It, it locks in, and it, the, the sloshing and stuff it'll keep it from spilling. So um, you know that works out really well. Um, but yeah, if somebody has an idea of how we can use the, the the liners and still be able to use the pressure cooker, let me know. Um, because then that would make it a lot quicker, like maybe a half hour. To, uh, to, to do chili. Um, and plus, I wouldn't use dry beans. Um, I would probably use canned beans. Um, so I wouldn't probably need the pressure cooker because really when I would make uh, chili before, I would use pinto beans, dry pinto beans. And so the pressure cooker would help cook those beans really quick. Um, using canned beans, uh, maybe some kidney beans and pinto beans, uh, throw in some black beans. I don't know. If I do the chicken, maybe do white beans. Um, but um, the only thing that's bad about using canned is the salt content. So we have to watch the salt for Alex because uh, he does have high blood pressure and so we need to watch his salt intake. Um, but for the most part, I think that we should be okay with the beans, uh, especially if we find some low sodium beans. Um, anyways, uh, some more stew. I wouldn't mind doing some more stew. Uh, it was really good, especially we're headed up north, so it's going to be a little bit cooler. Uh, some chili, 
Um, what else can you guys think of that we can do in the pressure cooker or in the Instapot um, using the slow cooker um, function? Uh, we do have a microwave too, so if we need to do anything in the microwave, we have that. So microwave and Instapot is what we have. I'm trying to um, stop by Walmart sometime. It's, it's hard sometimes because uh, some Walmarts have a place where trucks can park. Other Walmarts, if you pull in the lot, they will put a boot on your truck uh, and give you a fine, um, like you're trying to park there overnight or something, even if you're there to shop. So, um, you know, it's just hard to tell. There's one app that we use called Trucker's Path, and sometimes it'll tell you, you can see the reviews, and people will say, don't come here, they'll boot your truck, or some will say, there's, there's truck parking here. Um, so, Or even a, a grocery store, it doesn't have to be a Walmart. Just Walmart usually is, we see those close to the highway where we can get off and not have to like run through a town or something. That's usually by the, uh, the ramp of the highway. But anyhow, all right, I'm just rambling. So, um, all right guys, be safe, mask up, wash your hands, social distance. Um, love you much. Talk to you next time, bye.